Welcome Cancer. My name is Marlena with Grace for Healing Intuitive Tarot. This is your February monthly energies and love reading. We're going to start off with your monthly energies and then we're going to move into your love reading where we'll talk about how you're feeling, how your mate's feeling, any obstacles you have coming down your way for the first two weeks of February. So we're going to start off with the full month energies. This is more of a general read for everyone and then further down the line you will hear your monthly love reading. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for coming to my channel again. I just want to let you know what came for you for the first of the month is retreat. Second week of the month, truth. This came in reverse. So some of you are not seeing the truth for what it really is. You may be in denial. You receive unconditional love. The third week and fourth week, intimacy in reverse. Okay? So let's go ahead and clarify. These are your energies. Again, this is a general read, so make sure you look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, especially when it comes to your love reading. I love to hear your comments. Make sure you thumbs up before you leave. Subscribe. Hit the bell below. Whatever, yo. <laughs> so we're going to first look into retreat. What this is, is about for you for the first week for the first week of the month. For the first week of the month, we have retreat. This means that you're taking time out, taking time away for yourself, maybe taking time away from others as well, taking time to renew your own sense of then you may even be going on vacation to get away. So a retreat is taking time away from everyone else and maybe your normal duties and being able to take that time away to re-up yourself. So let's see what this retreat is about for the first week in February. First week in February for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, February 2019. Yeah, so some of you may even be away from your loved ones. You may um, feel even alone during this time. Again, that's what this retreat is about, taking time out for self. But I wonder why cancer feels the need to take out for self. I'm going to get nosy in a minute, but... <clears throat> I feel like many of you are coming out of a place where you feel like you didn't have any control over a situation. I feel like you're even thinking about a time where you don't have control over. And, and to me, it sounds like it could be work, love, um, something that you just really feel like you're hopeless about. But let's see what this is really about because you're taking a retreat. But let's ask. Spirit guides, thank you. What is this retreat about? Why is cancer retreating the first week of February? Um, it looks like due to judgment, some people might have had some words with you, um, but nonetheless, you're taking time out to regain your hope. Um, I feel like you may not be talking about finances during this time. Um, I think you're just trying to look into your options. I think some of you are bored where you are. It could be with a relationship, job, anything of that sort. But again, whatever it is, you're going to be in it for a little while longer. But I do see you coming into a sense of abundance this first week as well. So um, I just think you come into a place where you're ending. This is a cycle that's ending for you. Um, this feeling of hopelessness is ending for you. I feel like it's some things that you just need to clean up. You feel like you just need to retreat, take a step back in order to renew yourself. Some of you may be thinking about how somebody sm snuck around on you in the past. This could be a past lover, past friend. Um, but I just feel like right now some of this could be even in regards to a fire sign. But Let's just keep going on with your general reading before we get all deep into love, okay? Let's just see what your energy's about. So let's go into your second week. So we had truth. The truth was in reverse. So again, this is about maybe you being in denial about the truth. Um, you may be taking time out away for yourself so you can face the truth. But the second week, you're not facing the truth. It's like you... <sighs> hmm... Hmm. You may be trying to gain the truth, but I see, feel like you're not seeing the truth. You're not seeing things for what they really are. For some reason, you are feeling a little isolated, maybe coming from this first week of the month, to where you don't even want to see things for what they really are. I see like you also need to confront yourself. Seems like you will be confronting yourself, maybe in regards to a truth within you that you didn't realize. Um... <sighs> Yeah, I really see a lot of you kind of pulling away from others, even the second week. Um, if there's something that you're leading in regards to work, your relationship, some of you may be the leaders when it comes to your relationship, you will be ending that too. It's like you just got to deal with you this, this, this second week of February. I don't even think you want to observe what's going on around you right now. 
it's um it's a slight feeling of sadness and isolation this second week but <clears throat> let's look into the third week because i feel like this is it may be some planetary alignments make sure you go look at an astrologist because i'm not that okay but this third week of the month we have unconditional love so let's find out what's going on with this unconditional love i feel like many of you are taking the time back taking a step back overall from what i'm seeing here it's like you're feeling like you need to take time out for Gaia, for yourself, for your spirit guides, um, to kind of let your emotions flow like you need them to. Because I feel like many of you, this is the second time your crown chakra came out. That means that many of you are not seeing things from a spiritual perspective. I feel like, and it may be due to the little, you know, Black Love Day or Valentine's Day, whatever's coming up where you feel like you need a partner. Some of you may be feeling this way. Um, this crown chakra is definitely out of balance. Um, so it's like you're more in this physical. <sighs> yeah, I just feel like many of you are just going to be a little stagnant this, this week. Um, I'd like to get to the to the core of this because um this came out also again the strengthening the bond so if you guys are with someone again this is like you pulling away not really trying to spend this time with them and then towards the end of the month we see again intimacy in reverse so i feel like really this is all about you loving yourself i see in february that's what this is is to me it's about you loving yourself in february taking time away from everybody else, people who are draining you, taking time away from you. And make sure you leave your comments below. But this is about you taking time away because people are just taking too much out of you and you're not feeling it. You're not allowing it. I feel like many of you are cleaning up people in your life that don't belong in your life, um, love relationships that don't belong in your life. You're cleaning it up. You're getting out of it. <sighs> Let's see what else is going on here. I feel like many of you feel like you get put in a lot of work. And again, I see this rest and rejuvenation. I'm seeing it again. I'm taking time out for spirit. I feel like some of you may even be fed up when it comes to some contracts that you might be dealing with. But nonetheless, I mean, some of you are dealing with contracts. I do see a victory coming for you. I just really feel like um, you may not see this coming to fruition immediately. It really seems to me like you are thinking about the past. This is again reflecting. Thinking about the past, taking time out, looking at things from the past in regards to an intimate relationship as well. Some of you may feel like you're not in a loving relationship towards the end of the month. Again, I'm seeing the spread your wings in reverse. This, again, is you just not feeling free. Um, I just don't feel like you feel like yourself. Some of you may need to speak up or will speak up towards the end of the month here to try to gain some clarity in regards to relationship, in regards to this intimate bond that you have. Intimate bond could be in regards to family, friend, loved one. But whoever it is, I just see... Um, Again, I'm just seeing by the end of the month, you won't, this is going to turn the tides. That resting that you was doing at the beginning of the month, that rejuvenation, the retreat that you was doing at the beginning of the month, you're going to turn that around and it's going to be a thing of a past. And you're going to have, you're going to be looking for clear direction as to what direction to go in your intimate relationships. Let's see if there are any other messages in regards to this. Thank you. And FYI, I did pull some advice cards for you also. Um, I'm also seeing here some people are coming into something new again. Um, by the end of the month, that resting, you're not going to have time to rest come the end of the month. You have the four of swords in reverse come the end of the month. But I do see something brand new coming for you. Some of you may be... Um, maybe trying to get pregnant um i don't see how you're gonna do that without any intimacy but nonetheless some of you may be already pregnant but whatever it is is causing you to stay up at night whatever this is this newness that's coming into your life is going to keep you up at night um 
So let's go ahead and look into your love reading. You guys ready? Let's get this party started. Um, if you guys have missed out on your second part of the month reading, make sure you go back and look at that for the end of January. If you've forgotten, make sure you thumbs up this video before you leave and leave your comments below. Um, I'm going to continue to move on, but I got a lot of advice for you guys. Um, I just feel like during this downtime, you guys may be feeling guilty. Um, maybe feel like you're not coming into the abundance that's coming your way. But I just want to let you know that there's a lot of abundance. You just need to stay encouraged, have courage to ask for and accept help during this time. Um, I just see abundance, abundance when it comes to your... When it comes to your advice, the advice for you, I didn't want to go through this right now, but I'm going to have to, is a windfall of abundance. Let go of any guilt. Focus on your priorities. Visualize abundance in all forms, not just nominal. Have courage to accept help. Ask for your needs to be met deserving this this is what i really want to touch on you are beloved child of god let everyone else and you deserve to receive the support like everyone else i'm sorry you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities trust that god and the angels can see how amazing you are. So if you're feeling down right now, because a lot of you are just taking the time out for yourself, exercise will help you if you're trying to regain your energy. Clean foods came out for you as well. But definitely block out distractions. Don't allow small people, small things, to take away your abundance. Continue to dream of abundance. Continue to see things in a positive way. If you're expecting something that seems outlandish to others, know that you can have it, and you deserve to have it. And if you do the work, continue to do the work, it will come to you. Do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a flush flower, like a blush, lush flower. Also with that, take divinely guided chances. Some of you may have an employment change coming your way as well. But I just told you about the clean food. But the power of prayer is so important and so important. Don't forget that. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon your divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayer. Don't just ask for stuff. Don't just ask for it. And then when it comes, you're like, huh? You have to be able to recognize it's coming, believe, have faith, it's coming your way, and appreciate it when it does, okay? Some of you, I feel like, have had so many, so many positive moments this past year, and you may be forgetting them around this time, this early month, early parts of February. For some reason, you're going to start feeling a little lonely, feeling like, Maybe you don't deserve love, things of that nature. You do deserve love. Make sure you keep that in your heart. Do not forget that. This has come up over and over. Make sure you reach out to God, God Gaia. Listen to spirit. Um, I feel like some of you are making a sacrifice, um, and maybe you're just tired of making a sacrifice. Uh, some of you are disregarding your dreams because maybe you feel like you've counted on them for way too long and they have not come true, but really they are coming true and you just don't see them coming true. Make sure that you know, and this is the second um, message of just creation, newness. This is birthing something new, something new and creative. Um, you are born to create. So just know, keep that in mind as well. And if you're having some emotional back and forth with yourself, let it out. Go through the process. There is a process when dealing with emotional, I hate to say baggage, but stuff. You know, dealing with emotional stuff, baggage, things from the past, and letting it go requires a process. If you're holding that in and you're not dealing with it, it's going to be a problem with you moving forward. You have to push through this. In order to push through it, you actually have to face it. And some of you, I see the second week of the month, are not trying to face the truth. It's like you're holding back. You're not wanting 
to deal with the reality of your situation. And it's not going anywhere. So if you face it, I see you turning around, realizing what unconditional love really is. And then towards the end of the month, just gaining a little bit more energy. So if you're feeling a little somber at the beginning of the month, hold on there. It will get better. Um, I do see you coming out of that by the end of the month. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, I didn't expect to do all that, but <clears throat> it was necessary. So let me go ahead and speak to you guys about your love reading. First, we're going to talk about how you're feeling as cancer. Then we're going to find out how your mate's feeling. Then we're going to look into your obstacles, what issues that you may be having in the process. And then we're going to look into your advice and how to fix those issues that you're going through. Okay? So, again, welcome to my channel. I love you guys. Make sure you leave the comments, thumbs up. Um, and, of course, if you would like a private reading, my information is below. So this is for cancer for the first two weeks of the month. I'll be back in February to do your love readings. Right now, I also have, um, to, I'll be back the second half of the month to do your second half of the month love reading. And I might stick in a special February Valentine's Day reading if I have time. If not, definitely still get your own personal reading. We do have specials going on right now, $25 and $50 if you want to ask one question. And I go all in. Um, for like 15 20 minutes and then i have the 50 dollars readings these are video readings to where you can get a lot of information for um half the cost almost okay so <clears throat> make sure you guys look into that but we're gonna go into your love Ooh. all right thank you holy spirit mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your message for cancer. First two weeks of the month, February 1st through the 15th. February 1st through the 15th. February 1st through the 15th. Past, present, and future for cancer. Thank you, Spirit God's angels. Allow us to connect to give them the mess message that they need to hear. Whew. All right. Past, present. Okay, guys, um, all right, there's a lot that came out, so. In the past, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love right now. Then, currently, we have paying attention to the red flags. Like I said, the second week of the month, you're not trying to see things for what they really are. There are red flags that are cautioning you, but this came in reverse. That means that you're not heeding those, okay? And then at the end, of, uh, and then in the near future, we have chemistry. But with this chemistry, you have to decide what it is that you really want. Some of you, I feel like, are really separated. Separated, you feel like your relationship is not moving to the next level in the near future. Um, I feel like you're not having those heart-to-heart -heart conversations anymore. Um, there may be still still some passion there, but I feel like. You may not even be talking to your friends about this. And yeah, in the near future, you're going to have to decide what it is that you want. Because I definitely do see some reconciliation. I do see some unrequited love. I see you starting to see things for what you think they really are. You're going to start seeing things for what they truly are. And you may start feeling like this is an unrequited love. Okay? So let's look in the past here, finances and career. So, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Let's look here in the past. What happened here in the past? Some of you may have been coming out of addictions in the past. Uh, someone you might be dealing with is a Capricorn. I'm seeing fire here as well. Um, but I definitely see some of you just being uh, feeling worried about your finances, even in regards to your family. I feel like you may not be telling anybody about this. You may even be turning down offers of receiving this help. Hence the reason why I gave you that advice earlier. Make sure you ask for the help that you need, not only to people, but also in prayer. 
um, Eight of Cups. You receive the Eight of Cups. Some of you decided to walk away because you were giving up on a relationship or on a family unit. I'm Cancer, here you are, right here. Um, I feel like some of you may be turning down love. I feel like some of you may have been ousted by someone, but I also see a heartbreak here. Um, so you may be thinking of this heartbreak and trying to work on your money. So your passion, so it's like you're trying to create create something new that's going to help you financially. And again, I see here in the past, you guys might have been in limbo, but you have turned that around. You have a choice. You had a choice to make and you made it. You might have been in limbo in regards to whether or not you wanted to remain with someone. Um, but I'm seeing now you're starting to accept Whereas before, you were not. Okay? I feel like you've turned down some offers in the past, but now you may be willing. And this, again, is in the past. You got to a point where you were at least willing to hear them out. Okay? So let's look at the middle. Hmm. Current. Pay attention to the red flag. Paying attention to the red flags. You guys weren't paying attention to the red flags. Something was cautioning you in regards to this relationship. Let's see what this was about. What are you refusing to see? Again, I feel like you guys were getting spiritual guidance and you were refusing to take that advice. For some reason, cancer is getting off the ball. Your last few readings or readings for a while have been on point. Some of you may need to release someone and you're closing yourself off to this person. Um, I see you're trying to seek the truth, but in a waiting, and you're waiting for something. These are just very challenging times for you, but you just don't see yourself coming together with this person. and. Coming to a point where you're not sure if you want to even dedicate the effort to continue this relationship because you feel like it's um, imbalanced. Again, I'm seeing this blossom. Some of you may be definitely, um, may be definitely starting something new, uh, maybe a pregnancy, birthing something new. Um, that may be coming your way as well currently. But I feel like some of you may not be paying attention to that. I want to confirm. Some of you have manifested what it is that you want. Someone's opening up to you. I'm seeing a child here, definitely. And I feel like this is a part of this newness that's coming into your life. Um, you may not be with the person, um, but you're at a place where you're just really trying to find balance. I just feel like some of you, again, are not feeling that sense of joy. Okay, I, I really want to delete this message and start all over. Just want to tell you. But I'm going to keep going and we'll see if I upload it. Because <laughs> I'm a cancer. I don't know if I want to be a cancer under these circumstances. But let's see what's going on here. Lois. Okay, near future. Ooh. I want to see what you're paying attention to. What are you not trying to see? What's cancer not trying to see? You're not trying to see how something's blossoming. Balance coming. Working on appreciation, justice. All of this is coming your way, but why don't you see it? Some of you have been in your head over this, but why is cancer in the dark? Because there's a lot coming on for you, a lot going on for you. <sighs> but um, let's just keep going. Okay. So in the near future, I see chemistry with you and a partner. There's a strong magnetic attraction. You need to clearly decide what it is that you want so that it comes to you. Some of you, again, may be... Um, 
maybe waiting for somebody to come back to you or return into your life that may be in a requited love situation. I see fire again. Someone who perhaps is sneaking around in the near future with a cancer. I see this water sign here. I see Aries here too. I see Aries, fire sign, water sign, and I see somebody sneaking, sneaking around. Um, I see you trying to handle your finances, get your house and home together. I feel like many of you want this Ten of Cups type situation here, but I also see a Ten of Swords here. So in the near future, I'm seeing this. Ten of Cups and Ten of Swords. I'm seeing um, the hair font here, that's Taurus, Aries, like I said. But let me clarify what's going on here with this Ten of Cups. Because we also have the Nine of Pentacles, which is great. Your finance is coming into order. But um, clarify this Ten of Cups, Spirit God, in the near future. Hmm. Some of you may feel unappreciated in your house and home, the, the Ten of Cups lifestyle you thought you had. You may not be feeling appreciated. Maybe some of you are waiting to come back with someone. I feel like some of you are definitely holding on and hoping that you can recover. But again, cancer, you're here again. <sighs> nine of Wands and Nine of Cups in reverse. This is like your wishes aren't coming true. Like you feel like giving up, like seriously. And then the only reason why I said this because here you go again. Cancer again. What is going on with cancer? Again, Cancer, I'm just feeling this lack of balance, feeling unappreciated, feeling like you have not achieved what you have achieved. Again, I'm seeing the Nine of Swords in reverse, so it's not like you're depressed. It's just like you, you probably want change. And maybe change is not happening for you right now. Just feel like you're not in a practical relationship. And I'm seeing this fire sign again. Um... I feel like many of you waiting for a new beginning. And this is creating some conflict for you. Maybe to the point where you may want to end a relationship. Because again, I'm seeing this boredom. This past the feeling, a sense of loss. Um, I feel like you're not trapped in this. But I, I see some of you really thinking of transforming this relationship because it's not working in your best interest. Cancer. Work it out. Well, let's go, let's go ahead and look at your partner because, whoo, ah, I'm sorry, guys. Time is like really progressing. Let's see how your partner's feeling. Ooh, I did not mean to go. We already at, ooh, 28 minutes. Low. So let's check on Cancer's partner. Hmm. Okay, chime in the Cancer partner, that cross watcher for February, first two weeks of February, February 1st and 15th, past, present, future. How is Cancer's partner feeling? Past, present, future. How is Cancer's partner feeling? Okay, I'm seeing a religious part, religious factors are influencing your relationship at this time. But let me go ahead and get started. In the past, we have new love for your partner. A new person has stirred their romantic interests. 
trust in reverse and then free yourself in the near future. Okay, and then we clarified it. So let me go into that when it's time. So in the past, your partner looks like somebody has stirred their romantic feelings. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why you're not cool. Maybe that's not why you're good. Because it looks like you're not getting the attention. Maybe you want it. Looks like somebody has... Who is this person from the past? I mean, who is this person in the past that's stirred their romantic feelings? It may be somebody from their past. So who is this? Okay. It may be a... It looks like this is a relationship that they stopped working on in the past and they perhaps were sneaking around. I see a fire sign here. I see air here. This is someone who they had out in the cold for a while or had them out in the cold. It could be also a Leo. But then they decided to start anew with them. This is somebody who they potentially live with. And who they probably were separated from. I feel like they were in a third party with this person. And this is someone who they weren't decided on. And I feel like they released this burden. I feel like they were sad when it come, came to maybe perhaps marrying them. Because I'm seeing the Hierophant here. And in the past here, they were talking about how they stabbed them in the back. But I see they try to work on it again. They try to start anew with, the, with this air sign again. I'm seeing this air. But I don't think they're fully accepting their love. They may be talking love, but they may not be accepting this love. I feel like this person is in competition with This, whoever they're dealing with is a couple people here because I'm also seeing a soulmate in this somewhere too who they may not be seeing the future with. But I definitely see them being in an imbalanced situation. So whoever this new love is, it definitely does look like somebody from their past. I kind of want to confirm and because I'm nosy. Let's clarify anything else with this new love. Hmm. Yeah, this is somebody who they moved on from. They weren't together with. They, they weren't with this person. But I feel like this upset their base chakra where they were unstable as a result of it. It brought in instability for them. There may be some codependency there as well. Hmm. Maybe perhaps someone who they're no longer listening to. But let's go ahead and move forward with the trust issues. This situation is causing for them to have faith, but they're not trusting. They're not having faith. They're not trying to have faith in the situation currently. They don't trust this person or trust you. Let's see. Who doesn't Cancer's partner trust? This person from the past if this is you from the past is you if not this is someone else from the past but what I'm seeing here is this ten of cups I'm sorry this page of cups could be a, a water sign I see Leo here but I feel like they're finally gathering strength because I feel like whoever this is that they don't trust I feel like again it's financially related it's financially related. You have abundance here or ten of pentacles here, which to me is abundance. And it's in reverse. So whoever this person is, that doesn't, tr they don't trust them. And it's probably in regards to finances. This is somebody who they definitely was in uh, maybe competition with. But right now I see um, the tower. 
And then I see um, even a water sign here. But then I also see a fire sign. Fire. So what I see is there's something that is being held off. Movement in a relationship is being held off for right now. Someone looks like they're trying to gather their strength. Um, but this tower moment is what I feel like is going to create that. So the first two weeks of the month of February, there's some tower moment that your partner is going to go through. Let's just get a little clarity. Um, it may be, pertain to you, this water sign. But what is this tower moment that's about to happen? They're going to feel alone. Hmm. <sighs> They have some healing to do. Something's about to happen to where um, I feel like they're going to be feeling like, like they're lacking even sim the simplest of love. Um, they may try to share a little love, teach about sharing love, but I just see their solar plex chakra is, um, they're going to be working on their solar plex chakra, getting this energy back, um, perhaps even trying to strengthen the bond even with themselves. But there's a tower moment that's coming, and I'm really nosy. What is this tower moment for Cancer's partner? What is this tower moment for Cancer's partner? Again, guys, make sure you thumbs up. I, I'm, I'm really going over time here. <laughs> what is this tower moment? There's somebody who they're in competition with or feeling like they are... I see a lot of competition here. What is this tower moment? Something's gonna happen because somebody's, maybe it may come out that there's a third party, but just wanna let you know this 10 of cups did come out in reverse. Something's gonna happen within their family to where it's gonna bring an ending to this home life. They may not be trying to tell you, but I feel like this is something that needs to come to a head. Again, I received the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Wands at this time. So this is someone, a wish coming true. This time it's upright, so it's upright for them. I think it came out in reverse for you. But a wish coming true and then putting up their defenses. This is someone letting go of, I feel like some options. So if there was a third party or many people in this situation, I feel like something's about to happen. This tower moment's about to happen. And it's going to leave them feeling lonely. Um, maybe someone's leaving. Because again, this I have this um, ten of cups twice in reverse. Ten of cups twice in reverse. And the advice that just came out when I was doing this, just to let you know. Cooperation instead of competition. What's yours is yours, and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete, as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. I feel like that's for Cancer and their partner, but let me move on. Now, towards the end or in the near future, again, this partner is trying to free themselves. They're trying to take back control of their life. By doing so, they're going to try to reach out to this love from the past, this twin flame connection that they have here. Because I saw a soul, soulmate twin flame connection earlier. So it, it, they seem to have been in competition or it seemed to be three or four people involved. But nonetheless, that happened here in the past. I feel like someone new, I feel like something new started with someone from their past, which is impacting your relationship. Um... They may not feel like they deserve another chance at this time, but they're learning. They're trying to go through the process in the near future to forgive and learn. Um, and they just may be taking a break because I just feel like your partner whew, is going through way too much. Okay, so cancer, you're going through a lot. Your partner's going through way too much. <laughs> and let's, so let's now look into what the obstacles are in the relationship. So let's make it clear. Okay. 
separation and you're not paying attention to the red flags. I feel like many of you cancers already know. You already know what's going on. Let bygones be bygones. Many of you know that you may be in a third party situation, may know that you're in a competition. You may be trying to ignore this fact at this time, but you're being affected by it regardless if you ignore it or not. Some of you may be separated from your partner, but I feel like you're just not wanting to see things for what they really are. Maybe you're trying not to be hurt. I feel like that's a way for you to kind of cope with what's going on in your life right now. And again, make sure you leave your comments below here um, and thumbs up too. But make sure you leave your comments below here because I would love to hear how this resonates with you. Honestly, this has been a lot. And I'm not even done yet. I still gotta get you guys advice. But something major is going on within this first two weeks of February that's gonna bring hopefully things into alignment. Like I said, in the beginning of the month, you are, um, okay, I, I don't wanna talk too much. But resting, take a time out. And then at the end of the month, you're up here trying to, um, you, you're regaining that strength. So whatever you were feeling down about at the beginning of the month, you're starting to regain that clarity. But nonetheless, I saw unconditional love all throughout it, okay? So if you're feeling bad, and maybe because you put in a lot of time, you know, effort, because um, I do see, I did see the seven of pentacles, which leads me to believe that you guys have put in a lot of time and effort. You've worked on this extremely hard. So now let's get advice for first your partner, then we're going to get advice for you, Cancer. So let's get advice for Cancer's partner. <sighs> Practical advice for Cancer's partner. They receive coming together. So, um, and this is in regards to Cancer. So this is for Cancer's partner with Cancer. So the advice for Cancer's partner is to come together. I feel like somebody's been holding off for a long time, making a decision. Like I said, someone was in limbo for a minute there, um, but they have some decisions to make. Actions speak louder than words. Actions speak loudly. So Cancer's partner, you need to act right now because Cancer is losing faith in you. I see it. Express your love through your actions. Act as if your partner is here, whether you're here or not, still consider your Cancer. I feel like I might have gotten that in a previous week, but nonetheless, love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this is true, okay? Cancer's partner. Um, I feel like Cancer's partner's darkest fear is being alone. And this is bringing forth now the energy for them to look internally. By them being left or leaving someone or leaving someone behind, this is then activates their third eye chakra. So know that this is coming for you and this is just, it's destined to happen this way. So whoever they are leaving behind, I feel like they're scared. They don't want to be alone. Okay, so Cancer, if you understand that, that may help you in dealing with them. But let's go ahead and get the advice now for Cancer. <sighs> cancer, thank you again, guys, for coming to my channel. I love you guys. Um, I'm telling you, I really want to turn this off. How y'all feeling? Please make sure you leave a comment below. Because I do not like my readings to be other than awesome. And I, hopefully this helps you. <laughs> That's all I can say. Hopefully this helps you. Don't take it down. Don't feel bad about it. Just take the advice and let's move on, okay? But February looks like it may be full of some challenges. Oh, not filled with challenges. There's a few challenges. Um... Um, Cancer, I'm seeing that you may not really clearly understand what you believe at this time. Again, this is about you not, I feel like many of you are giving up. So what Spirit is saying is that you need to rebuild. Create balance. Rebuild who you are. Rebuild this balance in your life. Understand your clarity. Some of you need to stop listening to others and follow your own light, follow your own direction. I feel like other people or things going on around you, and it could be, like I said, it could be Valentine's, it could be, you know, like I said, black love, I think it's Valentine's on the 14th and black love maybe on the 15th, I don't know. There's two days in US talking about love. And I feel like some of you, because you may not have everything that it is that you want, you are feeling down on yourself. I'm gonna tell you what I told y'all last year. Do something for you. Don't wait for somebody else to do something for you. Go out and pamper yourself. Whatever that looks like to you. 
If it's shopping, go shop. If it's going to go get a massage, go get a massage. If it's getting rid of the kids for a night just so you can take a bubble bath, do that. Do something for yourself, Cancer, because I feel like you may be waiting or hoping somebody else is going to do something for you, and they may be going through their own drama, and you'll be left out because you won't be doing something for yourself. So if you're waiting for somebody else to do something for you, I'm telling you, Cancer, do it for yourself. See things for what they really are. You need to handle and take care of yourself. Okay. What is the... Oof. All right. Spiritual connection. So, you guys have a spiritual connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Again, I'm seeing this person who you guys definitely have a soulmate relationship with. This relationship is a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Have patience. I feel like some of you are worried because you're not taking time out to just understand. Again, I just want to let you know, rest. This is the third, fourth time it came out. And turn on your light, your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on experience, a time when you experienced love. Appreciate this moment. Again, give back to yourself. Reflect on this time for yourself. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. Love is patient and kind always, so make sure not to forget to practice patience. This spiritual connection, like I said, goes beyond this lifetime, but also appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Make sure you also remember your foundation. This came out last. Remember why you act the way you act. So some of you are working out of fear in some instances. It might be due to the fact that maybe you dealt with some things with your parents.